Do you guys actually want to make 10x, 20x gains flipping NFTs? Well, then you're going to need to take the condom off and raw dog this market. And in this video today, I have a bunch of upcoming projects. You should be grinding for a whitelist because they're the next hyped projects. And you can make money flipping them. And maybe your girlfriend will stop cheating on you. Probably not. But make sure to like and comment on this video. I'm giving out whitelist spots for Moonsies. So maybe just comment below what your favorite project I talked about in today's video is to try to get those whitelist spots. But let's just get in that video today. Okay. So whether it's your first time watching an NFT video or you're a full-time DGen, you have to know the best new projects come from the best teams. It's like when you're dating someone who's really hot and then you meet their parents who are significantly less hot. Makes me less likely to make a long-lasting investment in that person. The opposite is true with NFT projects that have great teams. I'm more likely to invest in those that have a great track record. So the first project we're going to talk about today is Camp Cosmos. And before we even look at the art, before we talk about the community, all we need to know is this project is being developed by West Coast NFTs. But who are West Coast NFTs and why do I give a fuck? So a lot of projects maintain focus on the creative and then outsource people to do the development back end work. So in this case, Camp Cosmos hired West Coast NFTs to do the back end dev work. And West Coast NFTs has a crazy track record of success. I mean, literally, West Coast NFTs has shipped Doodles, which has like a 15 ETH floor, MFers, which had like a five. ETH floor at one point. They even helped Doodles successfully ship out their duplicator, which I didn't hear any fun about. By the way, MFers, Doodles, any project West Coast NFTs has helped ship and develop. There hasn't been any minting exploits. There hasn't been excessively high gas. Really, there's been no fun at all. They're also working on the Vayner Sports Pass, Aku Dreams, Mint. So whether it's AJ Vaynerchuk, whether it's Poopy Cat from Doodles or Sartoshi from Twitter, the best people in Web3 go to West Coast NFTs for their dev work. And if that wasn't enough, I actually really like the art. This isn't your typical like thick line cute art. It leans a little bit more psychedelic than anything else, but there are a lot of different layers to this type of art here. Now, right now, there's not a ton of hype, which is what this channel is all about. Again, remember guys, we're all about the alpha before the alpha. Currently, they're giving out their camp list spots and they've been providing the vibes. They've been doing Discord AMAs with music, answering tons of questions. So this is a very open and transparent team. Here are some sneak peeks at the PFP art here, which again, it doesn't exactly look like the things that don't pump anymore, which is like the super cute thick line art. So I think this has a chance to do really well. Yeah, you can pick up the detail here. It looks really good. Make sure to follow their Twitter account because I actually know this for a fact. West Coast NFTs has tons of suitors. Literally hundreds of projects reach out to West Coast NFTs to do their dev work and they turn down hundreds of them. They only pick the best and that's why Camp Cosmos, I think, has a chance to be one of those upcoming projects that takes us by surprise. So with only 15,000 followers, I think you could still get in on this early, get camp list spots, and get to brag in all those discords about how early you were to this one. Speaking of being early, I can't believe how little followers this project has. Cosa Mostra is from Garber Suspo. Okay, again, we're looking at teams, we're looking at artists. Why do I care about Gabor Suspo? Only 7,000 followers, probably not even been followed by Gary Vee. Why do I care? Sometimes you guys just need to do your own research. With that being said, most of my research is done on Wikipedia, which always has accurate information. So Garber Suspo, he was the co-founder of the animation studio Class B Suspo, which produced shows like Rugrats. Bro, I watched so much Rugrats going up. I saw Rugrats in Paris. Remember the Rugrats Go Wild? Where you had to like, you could scratch like a ticket and you would sniff it as the movie goes on. That was literally the very first NFT. Also, Ah, Real Monster. So this is somebody who is well established in the animation community. And I can verify this because I watched so much Nickelodeon growing up. I remember Gabber Suspo's name coming up at the beginning of every single Rugrats episode. So if you're telling me the artist, the producer of Rugrats is making his own NFT project and not just rehashing the past. Because look, it's cool. I know a lot of people want like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle NFTs or in the future they want like Pokemon NFTs. But what about the creators of those projects coming out with new projects? And you can kind of see the Ah Real Monsters vibe in here. You can also see like a little Ren and Stimpy. It's very much that like Nickelodeon era art, which is perfect. Because look, we talk about whales needing to come into projects to pump our bags. When whales come into a project and sweep rares and have above floor sales, that makes the floor price go up, not just the floor being swept. And the fact of the matter is a lot of these whales who have tons of ETH right now 
grew up on Gabber's work. Like if I'm just gonna go randomly sweep a floor one day, why not sweep a floor from the guy who made Rugrats? That seems like a pretty decent bet. I guess it really just comes down to like, did you grow up a Cartoon Network kid? Did you grow up on Dexter's Laboratory, Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Or did you grow up on Nickelodeon? Let me know in the comments below. Are you a Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon kid? It says a lot about you actually. So it's still really early for Kostra Monstro. We're seeing they're doing some fan drawings and fan art, which isn't heavily engaged with. We only have 62 responses in one hour so that shows me this project is not as hype as it should be and there's still an entry way to get into that OG that whitelist spot section damn this brings so much nostalgia back like if, if this type of artwork can't bring some nostalgia in whales to make them spend a lot of money what will bro even the details here these little bugs I mean shout out to Gremplin but these almost look like they were influencing Gremplin this literally has that Ren and Snippy type vibe I don't know I don't have like a lot of info about the roadmap or the team but if they have connections the way that I believe got Gabber Suspo has connections. Not only could we see this be a successful NFT project, but you could also see this be like an, a big animated series, only a Netflix or obviously a Nickelodeon. You can see this be a video game, maybe a comic book, graphic no novel. And literally so many projects say that. Every single project is like, yeah, we're going to be coming out with an animated series. And it's like, okay, the animated series just got dropped online for free. Only three people have watched it. Nobody cares. That doesn't mean that's utility. This could actually be a situation where there's an animated show that could really be worthwhile for holders. Okay, so if you think this next project is gonna be from an anonymous team with Fiverr Art, you're fucking wrong, cause fuck that. I'm talking about Rags to Richie by Alec Monopoly. So if you don't know Alec Monopoly, he's literally maybe the biggest artist in Miami. Every year at Art Basel, Alec Monopoly is one of the biggest conversations in town. When he throws a party in Miami, everyone tries to get into that. And Alec Monopoly is the artist behind this project, 10,000 of these hand drawn by Alec Monopoly himself. And this kind of feels like one of those celebrity cash grab projects. But the fact of the matter is, I think actually having an NFT from Alec Monopoly could matter in years because he does have that social relevancy. You probably recognize Alec's artwork and the way he signs his name here. A lot of these in big cities. Big enough to the point where in 2021 Alec Monopoly collaborated with Barstool Sports to sell exclusive merchandise. And while Alec Monopoly has been super successful, a lot of art critics, as you see here, have kind of looked down upon him. But I think the reason they look down upon him are what are the reasons why NFTs work. He's kind of reappropriating the Monopoly man as his own. The same way a lot of NFT projects are reappropriating artwork into their own images. So there's 10,000 of these. The Discord hasn't come out yet. We don't know anything about the Mint. Still really early and I'm not like the biggest fan of this art. It looks pretty basic for somebody who has a war chest of resources like Alec Monopoly. But you're buying into an established artist and this artist actually has resources that could be used to provide actual utility to holders. Something to watch out for. Okay, real Real quick, two anime projects because it's not an upcoming 1000x NFT video unless I talk about anime projects, which are still doing well. So this first one is Spirit Gates by Jitty. He is a really popular painter and NFT artist. You can see 300 people I follow follow him, so he's definitely in the same circles among like the NFT micro niche influencer types. So we get anime meta with an already established great artist who has a footprint in Web3 and he throw in some art like this. You got some cleavage like that on the anime. Sorry, I shouldn't be fetishizing the artwork of Spirit Gates, but uh, I just came back from VCon where it was probably 98% men there. So sorry if I'm a little off. I haven't had my post nut clarity yet, but really some fantastic art here to go along with the hype of an anime project and a really great artist. So this is one to watch out for. Giving out whitelist spots on this one currently. Another one in the same vein is Lorem NFT. Currently the Discord's closed. Not a lot of information on this one. It has has a anime type feel to it. I'm gonna call everything anime because that's what pumps our bags more than like cartoons. But really vibrant colors here to go along with all the obvious lore they're trying to build out. And that's up to you. Do you like a project that's building out a back narrative, lore? Maybe that's not enough utility for you. But this is supposed to be a project that's heavy on lore and heavy on great art. And whether or not you like lore it definitely builds communities and i can see a community building around art like this okay this next one is from a terrible fucking team just kidding it's another good team hyper cosplay i like this project because of who's behind it so you have mesh up and nonsense wtf 
basically these are two people who are really huge in the nouns DAO community, which is, in my opinion, the more gigabrain type blue chip project. And we saw this meta for a while last year where it's like anyone who was a crypto punk who created a project a la Cryptodes by Gremlin immediately blew up. So I do like projects that come from community members of well-established projects. Nouns to me is like super elite because like a lot of people have a doodle. A lot of people have, you know, a mutiny. But like having a nouns, I think definitely says something about the type of person you are. You're very analytical and you understand the blockchain. Okay, so maybe I'm giving too much credit to owning a fucking JPEG, but this art looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? And you always have to appreciate a project like this that I know for a fact is growing organically, not doing a tons of shilly whitelists. And as we mentioned at the top, give me out whitelist spots for this project. Just comment, like, subscribe, do all that cringy YouTube stuff that I love. This is Moonzy NFT. These look great, honestly. They're trying to do a play to earn battle royale type game. They have Jay's Foy, who's doing the creative and art direction. Very well received respected person. You can see a lot of followers on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. People in the community are following them. And while it looks like the Invisible Friends, Imaginary Ones type art, they're really trying to build this into much more of a community. It's not like, hey, here's the NFT, here's the art, this is the only cool thing about our project. They're using this brand to get into very different media avenues. So you got really great, cute artwork. You have branding opportunities. You have play to earn game opportunities. So if you want one of these whitelist spots, guys, comment like, subscribe, don't be an asshole. Also on that note, guys, make sure to jump onto FTX US. I have a link down there below, FTX.US. Home, cool times, whatever. Click that, 10% off all trading fees so you guys can, you know, buy some crypto right now while it's on a dip, not have to spend as much money on other platforms. I think we raw dog. I think we crushed that one, guys. Those are the hyped new projects you need to get on in ASAP because this market's moving. You just got to keep up with it and pay attention to it. Make sure to comment like, subscribe, do all that. Maybe you can win a whitelist spot. Who knows? Until next time though, guys, remember to say gang, gang!